Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Hello. So today we've come to Chatsworth House, uh, known as the Palace of the Peak. It's the home of the Devonshire family and it's one of our local stately homes. It's right on it's our doorstep. It's a very big place. Very big place. Very grand. So it's only recently reopened for 2024 last week and we are really looking forward to this. Hope you enjoy touring around with us. Chatsworth House is a magnificent stately home. It is nestled in the heart of the Derbyshire Dales. Chatsworth has been home to the Cavendish family since 1549 Standing on the east banks of the River Derwent, the house holds major collections of paintings, furniture, old master drawings and neoclassical sculptures. Chatsworth is built in the English Baroque, Italianate style. It was completed how we see it today in 1840. The house was much altered in the 18th and 19th century, but it significantly underwent a massive £14 million restoration between 2011 and 2012, which is why today it looks in the most splendid condition. The first Duke of Devonshire created a richly appointed Baroque suite of state rooms. These were built across the south front of the house. He was expecting a visit from King William III and his wife Queen Mary. However, the visit never occurred, but we are left with these splendid rooms. Chatsworth has an amazing 126 rooms. Nearly 100 of these rooms are closed to the public. The house is well adapted to allow the family to live a very private life, whilst allowing visitors to enjoy this wonderful house. The chapel at Chatsworth is truly awe-inspiring. On entering, 
Always stop and gaze up at the ceiling. It is beautiful. A clever twist here is the Damien Hirst sculpture. Even though modern, it sits perfectly in its surroundings. The state rooms are approached from the painted hall. The painted hall has the finest painted murals by Louis Laguerre. The great chamber is the largest room you see first, followed by the state drawing room, the second withdrawing room, the state bedroom and finally the state closet. Each room is more private and yet more ornate than the last. You find yourself staring in awe at the many treasures on display and the superb craftsmanship that surrounds you.
When you are in the withdrawing room, which has now been renamed the State Music Room, make sure that you notice the tromp low violin and bow hanging on a silver knob. This was painted in 1723 by Jan van der Vaart. It came from Devonshire House in London, but it certainly looks very at home here. One of the most famous occupants of Chatsworth House has to be Georgiana, the Duchess of Devonshire. She lived a very high profile life, enjoying parties and scandalous affairs. Chatsworth is home to the most beautiful Gainsborough portrait of her, which hangs in this long gallery. This corridor at Chatsworth is very modern and has a unique wall covering. The indentations on the wall are created using the DNA pattern of the Devonshire family. The dining room at Chatsworth is magnificent. If you look up, you will notice that the ceiling is vaulted. The Duke had it made so that it looked like the inside of a treasure chest. If you had opened that treasure chest, you would have seen the magnificent display of silverware on the table below. Thank you. 
The detail in the plaster work is replicated on the beautiful rug that sits beneath the dining table. On exiting the library, you will come into the statue gallery. This is an incredible space. It is full of the most amazing works of art, marble statues and busts from throughout the centuries. The way we see Chatsworth House today is testament to the dedication and love that the Duke and Duchess have for this house. It is in the most remarkable condition and it is an absolute joy to be able to walk around. So, we've just come out of Chatsworth House, first time for 2024, and boy oh boy, it's just as beautiful as we remembered. Um, what did you think, Ant? Oh, it's a stunning place. It's uh, palatial, isn't it? It's, it's lots of big rooms, lots of painted ceilings, and lots of famous painters. Yeah, there's a beautiful Rembrandt, wasn't there? Gainsborough's. Uh, they've got lots of new exhibits for 2024 so we found that fascinating and I'm sure there are more paintings out than we've seen before. Uh, the staff are just as friendly as ever uh, so uh, yeah we're going to take a stroll around the grounds now and we'll get you some of the pictures of spring in the garden at Chatsworth.
So, that concludes our tour of Chatsworth House and a little wander in the gardens. It's uh, March 2024 and the house has only been open for a week. Uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, yeah, spectacular. The house looks immaculate. So if you're in the Peak District, you really need to uh, make a detour and come and look at this house. Um, so we do hope you're all keeping well. We hope you enjoyed having a wander around here with us. If you can, please give us a like and subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.